Hey, welcome back to Free Rock Bass and Cover Song Lessons. Um, this is a Bass Basics 102, um, going over your budget bass and um, how to select a bass that's best for you. Um, really depends on, on really what your budget is, and that's why I said budget bass, you know. Um, what's your budget? So maybe you got a lot of money and it um, doesn't matter, you're probably not watching this if you do, and you've already bought a really expensive bass. Um, who knows? Uh, you need a bass if you're going to keep playing, uh, amateur or, or what your um, ins aspirations are. Um, if you want to become really good, it doesn't matter, you still need to have some kind of bass to practice on. So, um, New versus used, I think anybody could find a great used instrument like this. I mean, this was $99. It's nothing really superb um, as far as like a you know the best out there. This is a Fernandez. It's um, it's about 20 years old. I found it used about 10 years ago, and I've just kind of worked on it throughout my time playing bass and kind of a as a project, a hobby. And um, when I first picked this thing up, I just loved the neck on it, and um, that's what you're looking for in a bass. You want to make sure it. it feels good you know and plays good that's what you want so um, yeah over time you know after playing this for a while I've just kind of changed some things like all the hardware and the pickup and just kind of made it my own sanded it down it's even a different color so um, you know do stuff like that it's it's kind of fun um, so what kind of instrument do you want? What kind of bass do you want? Do you want one that sounds like this? You know, this is a pretty standard, classic, precision bass style pickup. That's what that is, a precision pickup. Um, made famous by the Fender Precision Bass. And uh, it's, it's your basic bass, you know, setup. And that, that's totally cool. That's, that's what, you know, was recorded on almost all the famous songs in rock and all the other you know genres that inspired rock so um, when it comes to, to rock you know if you're gonna sit good in the mix of all the instruments in a band you can't go wrong with this um, if you have a jazz bass that really doesn't matter that that's actually what my favorite bass personally to play um, but this is definitely a close second and um, you know, get out there and play as many basses as you can, you know. Um, find the one that fits with you the best because that's, you know, what do you need now versus what do you want now and how much money you got because you could spend 99 bucks or you could go spend $1,000 and be like, oh man, why did I do that? And think, you know, oh, I wish it was this color or or it it did this or it had this kind of pickup, you know, you, you got to think about that stuff. So, same thing goes with an amp, you know, take your bass, you know, if you have a bass, go and try your bass out on the amp that you want. Make sure it sounds good, you know, don't just get any old thing. Uh, make sure it's big enough if you, if you want to play with, you know, a, a band live and you want to practice with them and you want it to be on the same amp and you want it portable. Uh, maybe you want a combo amp, you know, where the, the amplifier and the speaker is attached. If so, um, you know, get something that's like 300 watts or more, you know, so you can be heard. Um, doesn't really matter what brand, just get something you like. Otherwise, you know, get a head, uh, amplifier head, and then a speaker as separate units. And that makes it a little easier to pair up different speakers when you get something bigger or different. And, and that can be a lot of fun for you too. So um, it, can, uh, it can be a way for you to um, have fun or it can be a way for you to spend a lot of money. Don't spend a lot of money, have more fun. <laughs> so you know how to pick your bass. Um, rock is really the best as far as I'm concerned because it's just what's more fun you know check it out look at all the players out there that have inspired everyone else like Cliff Burton or Barry Oakley or John Entwistle you know all those bands Metallica and Allman Brothers and The Who the most awesome music you can find out there those guys 
were the best, um, you know, and there's so many more out there, like Steve Harris of Iron Maiden, uh, John Paul Jones, Beatles, um, Paul McCartney, um, Roger Waters, you know, from Pink Floyd, uh, Geezer Butler from uh, Black Sabbath. There's just so many out there that are, you know, these are the guys you got to check out. You can get more inspiration from. Check out their music. Um, Getty Lee, Flea, Les Claypool, you know, the list goes on. You want some more groove-oriented stuff, like, you know, the groove master, like Victor Wooten, um, Phil Lesh, that's some deep jamming right there. Um, Carol Kay, she could probably teach all of those guys a lesson. Um, her stuff goes way back beyond almost all those guys I mentioned, so check out some of those people. Um, get inspired, you know. If you um, have any requests, um, please let me know. Check it out. Um, put the questions or requests in, or just email me those things. Um, next lesson, I'm going to try to include a major scale and one of my favorite scales, rock bass.